hello guys welcome to the next tutorial on unix shell scripting so this video we will see more about read command the command which is used for taking input from the user so for more details about this command type man read command and then we'll give you the complete details about this command you can go through these commands and uh, get more details about this just type read and then hit enter once it's prompted type something over here so by default the read will store the values in replay variable so you can print the values that read stored from this variable so you can use the read and then some variable name then it will re it will store that value into that variable so you can print that echo dollar that variable so let me uh, create one directory and uh, type some uh, create some scripts over there okay, use hyphen p flag to create then go to the read directory and uh, so let me open one more session so i will be creating the files in one session and executing from other terminal So go to the same directory to so read. So from here, create a file test or test one dot sh. Type the first line sh bang hash explanation and then path to the bash. Then type read. Then iPhone p. You can add that print statement here so that when we execute, so this statement will be prompted and the values it read will be stored into the variable replay okay so you can print that value in that variable from this echo command and save so once this is saved then from the next terminal let me add this execute permission to this file chmod plus x then read dot uh, test one dot sh and then execute so it's printing this message enter a string so you can type some values here and once uh, the next line the value entered is dollar reply so let me create one more file test2.sh then add the first line then the next i can add the read then iphen p then enter input so this message will be displayed on the screen and then type some variable name and uh, let me do echo that variable value so entered value is dollar var1 so use dollar so that it will print the value which is stored in this variable var1 then save that and add execute permission then execute that script test2.sh then it's asking uh, to in enter some value so let me type the value as my input 1 2 3 and it's printing the entered value is uh, whatever the value we have entered so i'm going to create one more so test3.sh so write the first line as same bin bash then read iphone p then i can add the print message here enter username and uh, so ending the double quote and add some variable name that is username and uh, let me add one more thing iphone sp so that whatever the values by default whatever the values you are entering as input will be displayed there but if you use iphone s flag so that won't list there so i can print the values okay so username is dollar username and password is dollar password okay. add that save it and once saved i can execute from the next terminal chmod plus x test3.sh 
So go ahead and execute dot slash test three dot sh. It will ask username and then type some username here. So you can see and type the password. The password I am typing it's not visible here. So enter and it's printing. Username is password and the username is whatever the username I entered and whatever the. So let me add one more echo so that this the la next echo will print in the new line. So open another terminal and execute the same script again. So type Hadoop and password. Whatever the password I am typing here, it's not visible, but still it's reading into variable password. Okay, so you can use hyphen p or combination of hyphen s and p flag so that whatever the values we are typing won't be visible. So let me create one more file test for sh and write the contents here. So read iPhone A and then some variable name. So iPhone A flag lets us to input array of values. So use some variable name. So the variable name is ARR. Uh, okay, and then I can print this array elements echo, then file or uh, values. First, first argument is the val first value is dollar arr of zero and use the curly bracket so that it will print the first element of array so i will explain this array elements in detail when we discuss more about array and the second value is dollar then curly bracket and then arr one so zero one zeroth element first element second element like that we need so i need to use this curly bracket so that it will print the second element so if you have more elements you can use for one two three etc and add the execute permission for this test for and then execute so apple orange so it's printing the first value is apple and second value is orange so basically we can input the array of elements and that will be stored into an array variable so next test five and I'm writing another script slash bin slash bash and uh, use a read then iPhone n5 so this restrict the number of lines it read okay enter five character hyphen P is the print statement that we are type uh, I mean that will be listed and uh, so the next is optional if I'm not adding any uh, parameter so it will the value will be in variable replay so I'm printing that replay here okay. save it and uh, if you can type the values here chmod plus x add execute permission to test 5 sh and then execute that script test 5 dot sh and you can type the values here okay so whatever the value if you type more than i mean just to reach five immediately it will uh, print that okay so it won't let you to type the character more than five so that that's about iphone n flag okay so i can add uh, something like va value entered is a dollar replay so that it will print i can add one more echo so that it will print in the next line and to close this one and save it and execute again so then type the values one two three four five yes value entered is this one and here also so basically it lets you to type only five character so that's it about reading value from the keyboard hope you enjoyed the learning subscribe this channel to get more updates thank you see you in the next video bye